Here we have Qdrant, which is a vector database in Rust. Let's go ahead and do the uh, quick start for production here. Uh, and we can copy this first up and go ahead and do a Docker pull. And this will pull the latest pre-built image. Uh, next, what we can do is re run this with a default configuration. So we go through here, we run it, and now we've got this thing running. Now the next thing that we're going to do is actually create a collection. So this is running in foreground here. So we can actually have another tab and we can actually copy this to put a uh, raw vector inside. There we go. And if we look at the output as well from this uh, Docker, we, we can see it running. Now uh, we can also curl the collection. So let's go ahead and do that next. There we go. And then uh, we'll be able to get this whole output. Now you can actually add uh, a payload inside. So we'll go ahead and go through here. And you can see this is the idea here with the vector database is you're storing these uh, vectors here so that we can do uh, many things with machine learning. And we also see the expected response. If we want to do a filtered search, we can do that next. Here we go. Perfect. And if we want to uh, go through here and uh, do a different uh, filtered uh, re result here, we can actually go ahead and query this as well. There we go. Uh, so in a nutshell here, this quick start shows you how easy it really is to get started with this vector database written in Rust. And if you take a look here at some of the documentation uh, around this project, this is a vector search engine for the next generation of AI apps. Uh, and it's written in pure Rust, which makes it extremely fast. Uh, so go ahead, take a look at it and uh, try it out.